Okay, so we are back. This is the second exercise from homework nine. And this exercise is, it's a, a UIA and on cover interest arbitrage, remember the difference between the CIA and the UIA is that in this one, we don't have a, a forward rate. So in the CIA, it's called cover because we have a forward and that means we don't have any risk. But some people prefer to have risk and then they decide not to buy the forward. Then they just have an uncovered strategy. So this one is an example of that, an uncovered interest arbitrage strategy. So the, the, in the way that we solve it, I think maybe you remember it's very similar to the CIA, but there are some things that might change. So the first step is that uh, in the problem, it says that we can borrow $10,000. In this case, because we don't have bid and ask, it's not that relevant that, that it says borrow, but still it's, it's some data that they give us. It doesn't matter if it's borrow or lend because we don't have borrow and lend rates. So it's just extra information. So the first step similar to the CIA is to calculate the future value of the investment in the US. What will happen if I stay in the US? So to do that, I think it's very easy because we only have one interest rate that's for 90 days. Um, and, it, and it's the American rate, so it's 2%. So let's do the formula of plus 0 0.02 times 90, which are the days over 360. And this times the initial value. Just because I like it, I will write a negative number, so I get minus $10,050. And remember, I like this because when it's borrowed, I like to remember the money that I need to pay. So next thing that I need to do is to uh, convert the $10,000 that I have in the present to pesos. So I will have to use spot here. It's pretty easy because we don't have business. So the rate will be 20. 15.02. And this is peso over dollar. And because I have dollars on top and and dollars at the bottom in the rate, it's when they are crossed again. I need to move it. So it will be 10,000 times 20 pesos. And this will be 20, um, 201,502 pesos. So we convert now this amount to the future value in Mexico. So if we invest that money in Mexico, we receive one plus the Mexican rate. The Mexican rate is 5%, 0 0.5 over, I'm sorry, times 90 over 360. And this times the initial value. So I will have 2,020 2, pesos. And here we can't continue with the CIA strategy because we don't have the forward. So remember, when we have a UIA, we are always asked to do two things. First, calculate the balance rate. So the balance rate is the rate where I won't make any profit. So which rate will allow me to go back to dollars and I won't get any profit or loss. So to do that, it's very simple. We only have to divide this amount over this amount. I will write down a minus so that the mm, final number is not negative, right? So to make it positive. So the, um, um, the balance rate, the rate at which I won't make any profit is 20.3006 pesos over a dollar. So this is the balance rate. This is the answer for question A. You can even prove it, like if you use, if you divide the amount of pesos over this, it will be exactly as the amount that you have to pay back. So in this case, we are not making any profit. But the, the little b says, can you simulate the strategy assuming that the spot rate at paid 90 is 21 pesos over a dollar? So it says that we can simulate assuming that the spot rate in the future will be 21. This is just an assumption because it's not a forward. The forward is already set and signed and everything. But this is just an assumption like that some clients will say, can you simulate what will happen if in the end the rate is 21? So you will do that. It's very simple. Just divide the amounts of pesos over 
this rate, you divide because you have pesos on top and then you have pesos on top in the rate too. So uh, in the end, you end up having $9,000, which is a little bit less than what you will have to pay back. So in the end, when you get the difference, it will be negative. So this is a loss. You will be getting negative $334.72. So the conclusion from letter B can say like, in, at 21, you will lose, so be careful. And 20.3006 is a clear, is a key indicator because it's the break even point, so then the client will know when he's not making any point. So we will continue with exercise number three in the next week.